Aloha, my name is Elaine Gallant, and I'm your host of Books, 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 a show with Think Tech Hawaii, where we will discuss everything about books, whether it's reading them, writing them, or everything in between. Today, we are going to focus on what makes a book club great. And I have three experts, well, four, including myself, who I promise you are going to share their secrets with you because book clubs are wonderful. My, I have Mihaila Stoops, I have Diane Pure, and I have Gretchen Andrews. Welcome ladies, how are you? Good, thank, thank you. you. We're excited to be here. Fabulous, and I'm excited to have you too because I know most of you, uh, because I run the West Maui Book Club and you've either been members for the entire duration since 2005, or you've been in and out of the club. And since 2005. So it's very exciting to, uh, uh, to share this evening with you. So let's start with Mihaila. Tell us a little bit about your book club, the one that you represent, uh, and about yourself. Well, thank you for including me in this discussion, first of all. And um, secondly, at one time, I think I was engaged in four different book clubs. So I am a book club junkie, and that is because I love reading. Um, you know, you and the book club that you're managing, West My Book Club has been quite an inspiration for me. It was the first book club, club that I've ever attended. And um, in addition to, to that, together with uh, Diane, who's also a, a guest on the show today, we manage the Great Decisions um, discussion group under the Foreign Policy Association. I also attend the Maui Prep Book Club. And I had, um, I'm actually just started a book club within Coldwell Banker Island Properties. So um, that's what I do. My goodness, that's a lot of book clubs. But for an avid reader, wonderful. Diane Pure, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and how you relate to books. Okay, I've been on West, in West Maui for the past 20 years, and I've been a, a, one of the original members of West Maui Book Club, and it's my full-time book club, along with also uh, being part of Great Decisions. I'm the administrator. We follow our leader, Mihaila, and I'm also part of part-time with three other book clubs. So uh, you might say that I'm a bit of a junkie too. Also, I'm very uh, active in the community uh, for uh, charities and other events that are going on in the community as sort of core, uh, coconut wireless. I'll agree with that. Well, I don't know what we'd do without you because you keep us all connected and, and informed on important issues that are happening. So we thank you for that. Gretchen Andrews, welcome from the island of Hilo. I mean, the island of Hilo, the city of Hilo on the island of Big, on the Tell us about yourself. Thank you. Thank you for including me in this book club as my, my book club is a little more unique. I am Gretchen Andrews. I am a librarian here at the Hilo Public Library. I work for the Hawaii State Public Library System, and I'm the head librarian for youth services which is the children's department and the teen department. And my book club that I'm going to be talking to you guys about today is called the Helu Helu Book Club. And Helu Helu is Hawaiian for read or to be a reader. And this book club had originally started as a Newbery Quiz Bowl book club about 30 or so years ago. And just recently during the pandemic, the change overcame to um, modify the format. And I'm gonna be talking about that today. And this is a book club open to children in grades um, four through seven. And we do compete and it is only um, for the big island. So I'll be talking more about that as well. Thank you. I was so excited to find you. I have to say, when you told me about this book club for children, I said, you have just got to be with us. You've got to talk to us. And so I'm so happy you're here. How do the children, I mean, how do the children react? Are they enthusiastic? I mean, uh, t tell us more about the Newberry. Well, the, it started out as a Newberry Book Club quiz, quiz bowl, and it was, um, began, it, it actually started from a librarian uh, for a school many, many years ago, and it just carried on. And when I became a librarian here about nine years ago, um, I've been on, I've had this team for nine years, and of course it rotates. The, um, 
the actual quiz bowl was something we would prepare for. So we would have the list of all the John Newberry award winning books. And what we would do is we would read them and discuss them. And it has evolved now because of the changing times to have this quiz bowl now be with different books. Um, we have graphic novels on the list now. We have the Nene award winning books, which is the the awards the children of Hawaii pick. And we also have Newberry Honors and Newberry Awards. So when we get together, we talk about these books and we discuss the aspects of the books on the list that we get every year for the quiz period. And we discuss them and we kind of make up questions as if you would for a lib guide or if you were in a book club and you have your own questions that you can pull off of somewhere. The I actually have the kids make their own questions to answer because they actually have to answer uh, questions on the books at the quiz bowl. So this gives them an opportunity to be their own quiz masters within the team. I, I just imagine that must be so exciting for children to be introduced to books that way and book discussion. Uh, Diana Mihaila, with the um, great decisions, it's a different type of book club as well. It's not your, um, I always refer to the Kraft macaroni and cheese where the book club ladies are sitting there eating the kids macaroni and cheese and you know he's just staring at them you're eating my cheese and you're reading a book called betrayal by Timothy Scott, you know, so uh, your book club is different. Tell us about it, either one of you, please. Mihaila, why don't you start. Well, we essentially um, discuss eight topics per year and the topics are very diverse, but primarily within the realm of current affairs. Could be anything from food security in the world to China's involvement in um, Africa to Joe Biden's policy, uh, industrial policy. So very diverse topics and a little more on the serious side. Um, I think we have three PhDs amongst us and uh, it's a combination of men and women. Um, the average age tends to be, I believe, is somewhere in the mid to late 60s. So um, there isn't much discussion outside of the topic itself. There's no whining <laughs> and no dining <laughs> either. Diane, would you like to add to that? <laughs> well, I'd say when they come, when our members come, they are prepared. We have some PhDs who are professors. So this is an opportunity for them to lend us their knowledge. And as a result, also we, we have uh, one thing we all have in common, we've either lived overseas uh, or we have traveled extensively so that uh, everybody has a frame of reference uh, more internationally, it, which is very helpful because a lot of our discussions are about experience, uh, about topics that are international. And uh, so it makes for a very challenging uh, time to the point where uh, the discussions are so intense that they really enjoy doing this. And after we finish our eight discussions, we usually have two more. Two more. And uh, it's among the group. And uh, you'll have one or two people who will take on uh, that challenge. And already I have requests for discussion in the other two months. So we take off for December, I believe, but uh, that's what we do. So it's a very intense group and very challenging. And boy, you better do your homework. <laughs> Correct. I'm with the West Maui Book Club and we are your typical book club, except for COVID sending us into Zoom land. And Zoom has worked out very well for us. We meet every six to eight weeks. We also have some PhDs in our group in and out that have come and gone. And uh, I would, and we are a full ladies group. So represented today is a ladies group, a men's and women's group and a children's group. And I want the viewers to understand that. Book clubs are for everyone. Now I've been going with mine since 2005. I think Diane, you were also, and Mihaila, you might've been also in the Kapalua book club. So we are all avid readers and we love to read. One of the questions that was posed is what is, because we want to get to the secrets of a book club. That is, this, that is to, a, to a great book club. And that's this, what we want to talk about on this show. So what do you think is the purpose of a book club 
that lends to the secrets that you've developed. And we're going to talk about those secrets next. So what do you, what do you think is the purpose of a book club? Anybody want to speak first? I'll go. Okay, Gretchen, please. I think engagement. I think engaging with the book and then engaging with others and expressing your opinion. I think yes. that's a really important thing. And to empower readers. For me, it's the younger readers. So to start them young is, is to just evolve them into the book clubs of tomorrow, which, which are like your own. Diane, you had your finger up? Yes, uh, I think, uh, uh, like Gretchen said, it's a very, way, a very good way of uh, meeting your new neighbors and meeting new people. So from a social point of view, it's very important, especially if you're one who's uh, moved a lot. Uh, it's a way to break the ice. The other is sharing ideas. Uh, the other is book suggestions. People will suggest books that you'd never think of, and it makes it very enriching. And uh, I, so I always look forward to that. I agree. Mihaila. Well, I also appreciate all the uh, new things I learned through a book club, and it could be a new way to look at an author or the story or the writing. It could be just new information altogether. So I appreciate what I learned from the book club as well. I agree with that as well. And here's another thing that you can think about. I can't tell you how many times I've asked the book club, did you enjoy the book? Some people give a thumbs up, some people give a thumbs down, some people give a thumb across. And those are the most exciting times to talk about books because when one person is not, did not enjoy a particular book, but somebody else did enjoy a particular book, you walk away, both sides walk away with a different understanding, right? When we start discussing them, everybody has a different point of view. And when you can share those point of views, it makes for the most dynamic discussions. You know, the hardest ones for me when I'm monitoring our group is when everybody loves the book. <laughs> I need a little bit of controversy to, to, to keep it very exciting. And I think that's one of the secrets to a great book club is having diversity in the group, books that stimulate the mind, stimulate opinion, right, that share some context about life that we've either experienced or have experienced in different ways. Anybody agree with that? I, I couldn't agree more. You know, you, <laughs> you, Absolutely. you nailed it. We, you need a little diversity. And what I like about West Maya Book Club is that, you know, we see certain ladies two months out of the year and other ladies 12 months out of the year. So the, um, the group changes. So there's new ideas, there's new people. And I think that if you have the same, I don't know, seven, eight people that we expect, um, they know what they'll hear this or that from the other book club member. And it's more exciting when you hear something new, you, you, you're challenged to think in a different way. And it's, it's hard to do so when it's the same people. I agree. Gretchen. What is the greatest gift that you get from your book club? The stimulating conversation from the children, because they will tell me how they really feel. They will tell me why they like the book, why they didn't. And then they begin to engage with each other. And I love watching that engagement as young people um, kind of go through that motion of defending the book and saying why they liked it or saying why they didn't really like it and have that conversation with each other. But it's a nice civilized conversation and they really have a, you can tell when the children really have a passion for the book when they like to stand up for what they believe in some of the threads and the topics of the book. Because in the quiz bowl um, list, we do have some historical fiction for children. We have some um, true stories, some biographies. We have all different kinds of genres in this book club. And not every book is for everybody. And I know personally from being in book clubs myself, sometimes I don't even want to read the book. And I'll, I'll open up the meeting with, okay, what did everybody think of the book? And sometimes they'll just say, no, I didn't read it. And it's not homework and they're not graded, but they're very honest about it. And it's, it's so fulfilling for me to see them get engaged at such a young age. 
That's fantastic. Mihaela, what's your greatest gift in monitoring a book club? Well, I think, um, and you're excellent at doing that, by the way, at keeping one discussion. There's sometimes a tendency to have side discussions, and those are, you know, very uh, distracting. So it's nice to, to have one discussion, and you're, you're doing a great job at, at that. And engaging, sometimes I, I show up to a book club, and I know that I've love the book or I have not liked the book, but I don't have, um, I'm not thinking anything else about it un until the conversation starts. And it's like, you want more and you wanna dig in. And um, that's the, the job of the moderator to sort of engage and stimulate that conversation. Diane, what is the greatest gift you get from the book club? Uh, well, Great. I mentioned the other, uh, uh, I think more than anything, um, it's exchanging ideas, respect for other people's ideas, even though I may disagree. Uh, also, many times I'll think, gee, I really missed that. I Maybe I'll reread the book, which I have been known to do. Uh, but the other thing that I really enjoy is that uh, it stretches your imagination. Reading books stretches your imagination uh, and stimulates uh, curiosity. And so it's an opportunity to go to another place. Uh, and that's what I like about it. And being with different people, they suggest uh, different members, uh, suggest different books. And as a result, you can learn about history. You can learn, it's a learning experience and you can learn from your fellow uh, members as well as from the books and their life experiences. And I think that's another secret to book clubs. You know, we think of groups in general and everybody's discussing books, which is wonderful, but the moderator gets benefits from conducting the book club. And, and, it's, and it's because you're engaging people. You are engaging people. They are engaging each other. But as the moderator, you get that special gift, right? So that's another secret to a great book club. When the moderator is engaging the members. Speaking of members, how do you get your members and how do they find you? Diane, how do you get members and how, and how do they find you? Uh, if I meet someone and I think that they would be a good fit for our book club, uh, keep in mind there are several different kinds of book clubs. There are those who want to read, have beat reads. Those, yes, but I'm talking about your book club, Great Discussions. Uh, great Discussions. Uh, always looking for someone who is interested in foreign policy and uh, uh, really is serious about it. Uh, so we're always looking for that. So uh, I think Mihaila can say the same. We're always looking for someone and we'll say, what do you think of this person or that person? Uh, so it's, but mainly it's people who uh, have a more broader interest, especially in what we discuss. Okay, Mihaila, what, 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 she, she mentioned your name. You must have something you want to say about how you get members and how yes. they find you. Yes, so, you know, finding people to join is not that difficult, um, particularly in my business, because I meet people that move to the islands. But um, besides um, somebody's desire to read books and discuss them, I'm looking for members that are also willing to listen and give an opportunity to others to contribute. So that's another secret of a book club. You need a good combination of members that are willing to talk and members that are willing to listen. Correct. It, um, if we could show the website for the foreignpolicyassociation.org. This is the website that Mihaila and Diane uh, well, our, this is the umbrella of the, the umbrella. discussion group. It's a, this is a nationwide association. And then the Great Decisions has chapters, if you want to call them, um, all over the country. And um, they're the one in, in Maui, it's Diane and uh, myself that manage it. And that is fpa.org. fpa.org. FPA okay. Yep. Now, Gretchen, 
If we could see the um, website for the library systems. And Gretchen, if they were going to contact you directly, they would do it through this website? Um, well, for joining our book club, again, this is only a big island um, book club. So it's open to elementary schools, middle schools that have up to seventh grade and libraries on this island. So depending on where they live, they would contact their local library on the big island. So they would go through the website and the drop down and inquire through the website to okay, see if each branch has a team. Would they ask for the hey, 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 Lou? They would ask to the library manager or for a children's librarian and ask, do you have a Halo Halo quiz bowl club this year? And um, they will, if, if they don't, they're sometimes able, there's home schools as well that participate and based on patronage, that library should know if there is one in the area because more than likely the library is being utilized to check out the books that the students have to read for the club. Super, thank you. Um, if we could see the West Maui book club. Dot com. This is the club that I monitor. Uh, if you can click on past reads, that would be great. And it shows a list of all of the books that we've read since 2005, including discussion questions. And if we can just scroll down a little bit, that would be wonderful. There we go. They're in alphabetical order A through Z um, and the dates that we discussed them. And if there's a line under it, you just click on it and you have all the discussion questions. And then there's other pages involved too, where we have book recommendations uh, that we didn't discuss. And that list is very extensive as well. And you can contact the West Maui Book Club through that website. I get my members through word of mouth. I get my members through that website. Uh, and, that's how, and that's how people contact me. Ladies, of your book clubs, what has been the outstanding book? I will tell you what the West Maui Book Club has been. And it came to me, came to our group in 2006 and it stands alone. And that is Pope Joan by Donna Wolfolk uh, Cross. Still a favorite. It's, I mean, even the Vatican knows about this book. So I highly recommend it. And, and that's another secret to book club with everybody books that you remember okay I remember and that one well and yeah. also <laughs> the other one was the tortilla curtain that was our first introduction as Louisa uh, I believe that was by pardon Luis Urea I believe it was by I could be wrong on it could have been another author. I'm not sure but I remember that one and that really was the first introduction for all of us as to the hardships and so forth for those coming across the border. And Gretchen, so it was very enlightening. Gretchen, what about your, your, your uh, Halo Halo? Well, with the Halo Halo, the list is ever revolving. But um, since most of the years, the past eight years or seven years, I've been doing the Newberry portion, which also flows over depending on what the judges pick to put on the new list. I'm going to go with if a child walks into the library and they're interested in an award-winning book, my go-to and the one that's been a favorite is called The One and Only Ivan. And it's, it is based on a true story. It's by Catherine Applegate. And The One and Only Ivan is based on a real live uh, gorilla that was once um, enclosed in a mall as part of an exhibit. And it's a really great story. It's very touching and it's good for any beginning reader and even older readers like myself. <laughs> Fantastic. And Mihaila, great discussions. What is the best yeah. book? Well, we, we read primarily on topics and it's a variety of books, but one, one book that I've um, read because of a book club, and that was the Maui Prep uh, Book Club, um, is Bridges Out of Poverty. It's actually a nonfiction and offers ways to deal with uh, people in poverty that are trying to move up towards middle class and it was practical and inspiring and thought provoking and um, it, this book has had seven editions I think or revisions and um, I think given current uh, circumstances it's becoming even more important to to be aware of and read. Fantastic. Ladies what are you reading now? What can you recommend to our viewers? I'll tell you what I'm reading besides Lily and the Octopus. I'm reading, it's called Remarkably Bright 
animals, I think. Remarkably Bright Animals, I think is the title of it. Hi, I'm sure what I'm reading. Um, I just finished The Violin Conspiracy, and that's an adult book. Uh, it's adult fiction, and I'm sorry, off the top of my head, I forgot the author. Uh, Brandon Slocum, I think, is the author. And um, I'm reading right now for our Halu Halu uh, Quiz Bowl meeting. It's a book that's a Prince Honor book, which is a actual young adult fiction award. It's called Starfish by Lisa Phipps, and it's written in prose, which is really nice. Wonderful. Mihaila, what are you reading? You're always reading something interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm reading a fascinating book. It's called Battlegrounds by H.R. McMaster, and it's about security threats to U.S., and it's absolutely fascinating. And will you be talking about this on your show called World of Books? Also, on yes. The yes, it's coming next Wednesday. I don't know what date that is, but that's when we are recording the show. Okay, we'll have to watch for it. Diane, what are you reading? I'm reading The Book Collectors. This is uh, about the rebels of Dorea, uh, right near Damascus. They, during, they were the rebels who were fighting Assad's regime. They decided that they were going to be above fear. Uh, to, uh, there were 250,000 people who were eventually uh, being, dying and escaping and so forth. So they were down to 12,000. The rebel, rebels in the middle of the rubble were finding books. And as a result, they decided that they would start a library and save all the books so that when people who uh, came back or uh, really what it says is the importance of books and how it sustained them. And uh, it turned out uh, towards the end, they had 15,000 books that they had saved. So they have a very comprehensive library. Fantastic. Ladies, in closing, what secrets can you reveal about your book club or to anyone considering starting a book club? What's your number one piece of advice? You wanna think about it? I'll tell you mine. I'd say have an open mind. Whenever yes. select titles. I'm very resistant when somebody says, and this book is going to be nonfiction, and I'm a big fiction fan, fan, fan of fiction, and I say, oh, no, I don't know if I want to do something like a nonfiction book, and then I, uh, I end up, I read it, and then I learn something new. I may or may not like it, but um, the secret is just have an open mind, I think. If you're, if you're an avid reader like myself, I, I try to dabble in a little bit of everything, so I read all different genres and all different age levels being a librarian. Fantastic. Mihaila, do you want to answer that question? Yeah, I, I would say, you know, if you hear about a book club, give it a try, see if it's the right fit, you know, maybe give it a second try and keep going until you find your home. <laughs> Diane, what's your opinion on it? What, what, what could you tell people? Uh, I would say, what kind of book club do you, would you like to be a part of? Do you want one that is a bit strictly social where everybody shows up, says thumbs up, so, thumbs down, and then they go on and somehow uh, end up talking about uh, their last trip, which is wonderful, but it's more of a social event than something like the West Maui Book Club. And thanks to our narrator, we are able to, our leader, we are able to really discuss the book. Um, and also subjects. Very, very. I would say pick your audience, pick your members well. Let one person enjoy it. They'll tell two people on and on. But it's the moderator's responsibility to keep it exciting. In closing, I want to thank Think Tech Hawaii for this opportunity. I want to thank Jay, Jay Fidel, the technicians, everyone associated with the program, all our sponsors. Where would we be without you? We thank you tremendously. My guests, Gretchen, Diane, Mihaila, thanks for joining me and keep reading.
Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.